All right, everybody, buckle up, because today uh, we're going deep on Fady. <laughs> this crypto token that's blowing up even before they've launched. Yeah. And we're talking pre-sale craziness. So we've gone through all of it. Uh, white papers, yeah. articles, even even the wild world of crypto Twitter. Yeah. Just to bring you the inside scoop on this thing that could go to the moon. I think what's got everyone in, like really interested is is this contrast, right? You got this this fun meme mascot, almost like a fat Donald kind of vibe. Yeah. But then on the other side, you've got some serious developers. You've got huge VC backing and like a roadmap that is not messing around. So serious team, serious money, but a mascot that, I don't know, looks like he likes to eat? Yeah. Okay, I'm in. Let's break this down. Let's do it. First things first, who are these people behind Fady? Yeah, so this isn't like some some rando group with, you know, anonymous devs or anything. Right. This is Moon 5 Labs, right? Yeah. And if that name sounds familiar, it's because they did the Space Catch project, and and that saw like a 75x return from its presale price. Wow. Yeah, so these guys know how to to generate some some serious money. 75x. Yeah. And then on the tech side, yeah. they didn't even they partnered up with Clevio X. They're they're a European firm. They've got like 15 years experience in blockchain. Wow. And and get this, their client list is insane. Like Coca-Cola, McDonald's. Wow. Okay, so big names. Huge. You know, experience, track record. But I got to be honest, a lot of these meme coins, like where's the substance? What makes Fatty different? It's all about the utility, man. Like they're building a whole ecosystem Correct. around Fat TD with two main products, right? You yeah. got Fat Boy and Fat Bot. Okay. So Fat Boy, this is a play to earn game, right? Think Tamagotchi. Oh, okay. But with crypto rewards, so you're nurturing your little fat boy, you're keeping him happy and healthy, mm. and you're earning rewards as you go, right? So it's it's really smart. Yeah. It's a really smart way to onboard new people into crypto yes. who maybe find it a little bit intimidating. Yeah, no, gamifying it, making yeah. it fun, making it accessible. Exactly. I like it. Yeah. Now, what about Fatbot? That sounds a little more, I don't know, maybe for the experienced crypto person. Yeah, this is this is where things get really interesting. Okay. So Fatbot is both a meme coin and an altcoin sniping bot. So think of it like this. It's like having this 2047 watchdog okay. that can just sniff out the 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 potentially lucrative opportunities, oh. right? Like before they even hit the mainstream radar. So it's like my own little crypto expert. Yeah. That, that instead of charging me a bunch of money, is just sharing the profits with me. Exactly. I like the sound of that. Yeah. Sign me up. All right. So how do we get my hands on some of this fat buy? So right now they are in their pre-sale phase, and it is it is wild. Like it's it's blowing up. They're they're getting really close to their hard cap, which is four point nine million. Okay. They've raised over three point seven already. Wow. So they're they're definitely striking a chord with people. Yeah, they are. You know, this whole like getting in early on a project thing really reminds me of of affiliate marketing. Oh, how so? It's you're you're kind of backing something that you believe in. Yeah. Spreading the word and then hopefully reaping those rewards. That's the key, finding something that you genuinely are passionate about. Exactly. Because it makes it so much easier to share. Totally. And speaking of, you know, valuable resources. Yeah. If you are interested in learning more about affiliate marketing, you can visit BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. Mm -hmm. And get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. It's got all kinds of great advice and strategies. Awesome. So it sounds like, you know, whether we're talking crypto or affiliate marketing, yeah. this whole idea of diversification is key. Yeah, I like it. So speaking of which, yeah. let's let's dive back into Fatty here because the roadmap okay. is looking pretty ambitious. They're planning not one, not two, but four tier one exchange <laughs> listings okay. right out of the gate. Four. Okay, now we're talking. That is huge, especially oh. when you consider like they're under a million dollar market cap, right? Like that's that's a lot of potential growth. Massive. Yeah. Okay. But all right. So tell me more about these exchange listings. What kind of timeline are we looking at? So what's the timeline looking like for those exchange listings? They're aiming to be listed within weeks of the pre-sale ending. And that's huge because those exchange listings are like, you know, yeah. rocket fuel for a token's price. It's like the crypto world saying, okay, you're legit. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's more visibility, more trading volume, right. and potentially, you know, a whole bunch of new investors. Absolutely. But it's not just about the listings themselves, right? It's It's got to be strategic. So which exchanges are we talking? They're actually keeping the specific names under wraps for now. Okay. Which is, you know pretty standard in the crypto world, kind of builds that anticipation, that fear of missing out. Right, right. But 
I mean, based on based on everything they've said, their mission, the team, I think it's safe to say they're aiming for the top, you know, Binance, Coinbase, Kraken. Okay, this is this is getting exciting. Yeah. Well, we gotta we gotta talk about risk for a second. Of course. Like every investment, there's risk. Always. Especially in the crypto world, right? Yeah. So so what do people need to know about that when it comes to fatty? You are absolutely right. Never, never invest more than you can afford to lose. Come on now, that's that's just good advice in general. Just good advice, yeah. Yeah, right. And do your own research? Yes. 100%. Don't take our word for it. Don't take anyone's word for it. Right. Read the white paper, explore their website, yeah. jump into the Telegram group, get a feel for the community, for the project, for where it's going. Yeah. No, I love that. And, you know, speaking of doing your research, I always tell people, hey, whether it's crypto, whether it's, you know, building your own business online with affiliate marketing. Like, yeah. there are opportunities out there. Just those. those who are willing to put in the work, absolutely. And just like, you know, doing your due diligence on a crypto project, affiliate marketing, you got to find the right product to promote. Yeah. You want something that you align with, something you believe in, something that, you know, that you think is a good thing to share with the world. Absolutely. And, and that's where, you know, I think sometimes... People get a little lost. They don't. They're not sure where to start or, or what to do. But sure. yeah, you know, arming yourself with knowledge, finding those resources. Absolutely. You know, and and speaking of which, for those of you listening who who are interested in maybe learning more about affiliate marketing, I always recommend checking out BrianGarvin.com. Awesome. That's Brian, with an I. They have a free affiliate guide: Ten Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate, <laughs> which is packed full of really good advice. I love that. See, again, it all comes back to that continuous learning, right? Yeah. Always be exploring. Always be looking for new ways to, you know, to find that financial freedom. Hundred percent. But let's let's get back to Fatty here for a second because we've talked about like the team, we've talked about tech, we've talked about this ambitious roadmap. But like, what's the long game here? Where do they see this fitting into the grand scheme of the crypto universe? That is the million dollar question, isn't it? Are they just trying to ride this meme coin wave or are they building something with some staying power? Right. And I think from from what they've put out there, it seems like they are playing the long game. Okay. That they really see this, you know, turning into a whole ecosystem, right. a brand oh, yeah. that, that goes beyond the digital world that becomes part of like pop culture. Remember those trademarks we were talking about earlier yeah, yeah. for like clothing and toys and software. They're know. planting those seeds wow. for a future where like fatty is more than just a token. Yeah. It's, it's a lifestyle. It's like they're taking like a page out of, out of the board ape yacht club and kind of putting their own spin on it. Right. Uh, yeah. And it's, it's really interesting because you, you know, you've got the meme appeal, yeah. but you've also got like, the actual utility and that long-term vision. So it's it's a very intriguing combination. High risk, high reward. Exactly. Will they pull it off? Yeah. Who knows? But, you know, one thing's for sure, they're shaking things up. Yeah. And they're getting people excited. And that is a powerful combination in the crypto space. It's almost like they're saying, yeah, we're having a little fun with the meme, you know, the mascot. Yeah. But we're serious. Don't underestimate us. Totally. And that's, I think, what makes it so smart. Yeah. Because they're grabbing that attention. Right. But then they're they're bringing you in with that utility with the fact that they're playing the long game. Totally. Totally. And it's like that old saying, you get more flies with honey. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like they're they're bringing people in. Yeah. Which is so important, I think, to building a community that, that lasts, right? 100%. So speaking of community, what's the vibe like around this? Are people just trying to get rich quick or are they actually excited about it? You know, what I've seen, the community is super engaged. They're passionate. Okay. Their Telegram group is like <laughs> nonstop and, and their Twitter is just blowing up. Okay. But, and this is the key thing, it's not just hype. Right. Like people are asking good questions. They're yeah. sharing ideas. They're even giving like constructive criticism, which is really important. No, it's huge. It's huge. And I always say like a a strong community can make or break. Oh, 100%. Especially in this world. It moves so fast. Absolutely. And it's like having a whole team, you know, yeah. of supporters behind you. Yeah, it's cheering you on. Exactly. Also like, hey, you know, maybe. Keep it real. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, and it seems like the FAFTD team, they get it. Okay. Like, they're active, they're answering questions, they're yeah. transparent, and that's huge. Huge, especially in, in this industry. Absolutely. Yeah. We're, we're running out of time, and we got to kind of wrap this up. Okay. What's the final word on FATIA? Are you telling people, go throw your money in? <laughs> Listen, we cannot give financial advice. That is not our job. Of course. Of our course. job is to give you the information, right? Right. To empower you to make your own decisions. Yes. So we've given you the facts. We've talked about the potential. We've talked about the risks. Right. Now it's up to you to decide, does this align with my goals? Right. Does this fit my risk tolerance? Love it. I couldn't have said it better myself. Awesome. Do your own research. Don't invest more than you can afford to lose. Come on now. And remember, this crypto world... It's full of surprises. A hundred percent. What seems like a joke today could be the next big thing. Exactly. And hey, yeah. maybe we'll all be sporting our fat boy. There you go. Merch at the next conference, right? <laughs> I love it. All right, everybody. Until next time, happy investing. Happy investing and may all your deep dives be fruitful.